Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's Super Mario Brothers 3 weekly randomizer race here on Speed Gaming 2. Tonight, our four featured runners are Leslie Pro, a Cobra 52, Stewie Cartman, and Jetab. Four competitors we expect to see in this year's tournament. Hi, everyone. I'm LOZ Cards Fan 23, and joining to me tonight, I would like to introduce. Famous for the Dragon Warrior randomizer commentary, I would like to introduce Sinister to the commentator's booth here in the Super Mario Brothers 3 Randomizer Weekly. How are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm looking pretty excited. Thank you all for having me here. It won't be the first nor the last. Looks like we've got three players going to be running with the Super Mario Brothers 3, but we do have Macobra actually showing off the Super Princess Peach 3 as it is new to the randomizer. Well, it's a ROM hack, but hey. It's all good. Yep, so uh, that'll be very, very interesting to see on a Cobra side. So the flag set that we're talking about tonight, group two flags, but with a little bit of a twist. We don't know whether or not hammers are going to break locks. So we're still going to have the end card game, and we're still going to have the randomized prizes into the shuffle. But we're not going to know if hammers break locks until the runners actually give it a shot. And also to make, t and also to add to it, these are not frog level, frog friendly levels, so there won't be any quick escapes from six five and the best of the like. Absolutely. So these four runners are getting it ready to go. Before we get started, people in chat predict what world is going to be first. What do you think it's going to be, Sinister? Give me my ice. Give me number six. Give me number six. I want, I want, I want them to have some suffering first. <laughs> Let's start with a world where they're not going to have any music boxes to help them out late game, mid game. Give me World 7 first. Oh, we're bringing out the pain today. Interesting. And it looks like the timer is up. And hey, thank you, Zero Wing. I am grateful to be here. And it looks like a World 3 start. Ooh. Yeah, we're already going to have to deal with Wendy. And we're starting with one of the three hand stages, the fun one of the three, the coins. And don't forget that any power-up that you see these runners get, that's going to be the power-up that's going to show up on all three hand stages, and we get a frog suit. We were just alluded to that. Mm, you really don't want to see that unless you got something going on. So, looks like um, Stewie and Jet, and looks like all the right runners are going to be going in, and Pipe gets them out, and we got a Hammer Brother, and oh, Icy Brothers, but... So we got out of there. Yeah, nice kill there. Picks up a star. Let's see if Macobra fares as good. Well done. Leslie not taking any chances using the frog suit. And hey, we are start we've got Fort Knox here, 7F1. Now in this level, we are guaranteed to see a power-up that is going to give us a tail, specifically the Tanuki suit. And uh, Leslie also into Fort Knox, as is Jetab and Macobra. But those two are better off because they have the fire suit, so they only have to break the bricks, trigger that P switch, and go into the pipe to get their Tanuki. Yeah, well, Macobra and Stewie are going to have to go get their mushroom, and it'll be interesting to see what Tanuki suit the princess is rocking, but... Right now, we have just a slight lead on Leslie, so nothing I do in there. I will say this much. Usually when you see Fort Knox, usually Piranha Fort is sure to follow in the same world, and I bet a lot of these runners are hoping that it's not going to be required, as ooh, Leslie did not time the positioning of that flight correctly, and that's going to give the lead to Jetab. Yeah, Jetab will be getting the first blow, and we'll be taking down a boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Moving on. Yep, very good, and uh, down it goes. Leslie takes care of it as well, and Stewie Cartman not that far behind, and here comes Macobra again playing as Princess Peach. Looks very nice in that Tanuki suit, and next up we've got the Oasis Stage 2-4. Ooh, got a fire brother in the Oasis as well, and uh-oh. Leslie better watch himself. He got nabbed twice by Mr. Bricks. Oh, yeah, those um, pile driver Goombas that you don't like to see. Watch out for that boomerang, bro. Takes him down. Gets a very important mushroom there and uh, should be able to finish that stage. Jet Tab and Stewie Cartman neck and neck. Leslie Pro and McCobra right behind. And next up is 1 5. Not gonna wanna slide down this bad boy. Not where you, not what the enemy said. And oh, shoot. Yeah, 99 times out of 100, there's going to be some kind of nasty enemy that's going to take it away. So sliding down like you do in vanilla, generally not a good idea in Rando. And, oh, looks like the shoe is nabbing everybody. Everybody catching the catching boot. 
Yeah, Karibo Shoot taking no prisoners here. Jet to have the first to take care of 1-5. And Leslie taking a death. Oh, no. And we'll have to deal with Boomerang Brothers. Trying to take it easy. Nice kill there by Leslie. Let's see what his prize is. It's a music box. Could come in handy in World 7. Might be very useful in World 7. And looks like... 1-6 on Leslie. That is indeed 1-6. And usually when you have 1-6, you're dealing with the fire enemy set. We see these fire snakes, so Leslie might want to have to tread lightly here. Doesn't have a tail, so has to take the bottom route. Seeing some pipe checks here. And it is the way out for Jetav. He's the first one to get to the airship, the World 6 airship. Yeah. Cold. The SS Cold. So right now, we're going to have a little bit of fun here because Wendy, we don't know what she did and how much she spent at Wendy's today. Absolutely. Uh, let's see if she had all the Baconators in the world or just a side salad or something in between there. But Jedeb has a chance to get the fire kill, and so does Macobra. They're both going for the fire kill, and one hit was not enough. She was at least a two-hitter, but they both get the fire kill. Uh, meanwhile, Stewie does not have a fire suit. She's a three-hitter, more than a three-hitter, a four. Oh, and he just got hitboxed. Oh, that is unfortunate there for Stewie. She was a four-hitter, so Stewie, a couple of Baconators there for Wendy, and Stewie, lucky draw there. Looks like she got a Baconator, and she picked two menus from the dollar menu. All right, so uh, let's find out. Uh, remember that every time we beat a level, we get some kind of item from the princess or Bowser in World 7, even in the randomizer. It's an anchor. Well, that anchor could be anything, except it can't be a hammer, nor can it be, of course, a warp whistle. And looks like we got 5-7 at the beginning of Desert Hill. So we're going to have something interesting up in the play here. And oh, she... Ooh! Karibo, 4 for 4 today, getting power-ups, and now Lakitu wants a bit of that action, too. Yeah, Karibo showing no mercy here, as Macobra does get through 5-7 with Jetab not that far behind. Stewie uh, was looking for a power-up there, didn't get it, ooh, and falls right into that. Oh, and Karibo taking down Stewie, showing no mercy here, Sinister. Five for five. Five for five. Put your put your shoes in the chat and looks like we got the first item by Macobra. So let's see what that item was. It was a music box. So flowers are music boxes, but meanwhile Jet Tab getting a couple of matches with the star and the mushroom. Well, one of them was a mushroom, and another one was a wow, a uh, it was a Hammer Brothers suit. Ooh, might be very relevant. Come Bowser's. 5F1 that Macobra and Jetab are both playing right now. There was another fort as well. But it looks like Macobra will be the first one to the boom boom fight as Jetab going to collect that leaf, a match for Leslie with the uh, mushrooms. Yeah, it looks like Macobra looking pretty decent right now. So, right now, Macobra is in the slight lead, but he got people on his heels and it. Did break a lock, so he's gonna go the back way. And oh, the second of the hand stages, the bros. So we'll get a, another uh, frog suit, and that is this is what I like to call the Hammer Brothers party mix there. And Macobra gets through, so another frog suit. By the way, mushrooms are mushrooms, so that ended up being vanilla. It's the stars that are our Hammer Bros suits. That'll be very. That's gonna be very interesting because that means we can get some quick Bowser kills. And we have, oh, 5 4 with the angry sun in the wrong place. Well, you know how Dragon Warrior randomizers have the fun police? Well, here in Super Mario Bros. 3 Randomizer, we have Team Boss Bass. People love to see the free meals that these runners are hoping to avoid. Oh, 100 coins get you a free plate? Uh, let's hope, let's hope, let's hope we see a couple of them. <laughs> I know a lot of the uh, people in the chat like to see the num 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 for uh, boss bass, but these runners want no part of it. Is Macobra picking up a Jugum Cloud there from the Hammer Brothers next to that lock? And let's see if Morton's gonna be on the salt diet. That looks like a fourth, uh, third, oh, fourth. Ooh. Stewie picking up a hammer there. Very nicely done. So we've got the uh, World Three airship. So that means we have both of our flat arenas off the board already. So the rest of these fights, oh, just a one hitter. That could have been nasty at Earthquake. Very angry, but not very durable, as one would say. 
And oh, uh, Leslie, close call there on that sledgehammer, bro. That is true, and he gets a hammer for his problems. Uh, Stewie just got done taking care of the artillery of uh, Bowser's uh, grand army. And oh! oh! I don't know what happened there, but Jetab uh, falling short on that jump there in 5 4. Not enough speed, not enough distance, into the abyss of the clouds. So, two Jugans, and we're going to the sky. So. Oh, you know what happened? It got despawned. That platform, those spinning logs that uh, on Jetab's screen had a despawn. Very unfortunate there. Ugh. And Macobra is on 3-4, where normally you would have a bunch of stars and you would do the star chain. And spike with greens. Yep, and meanwhile you have the artillery you were talking about. Leslie's now on the super tank stage right now, and Macobra takes care of his level. Stewie, meanwhile, now on the World 3 airship to take down the one-hitter. Morton Koopa, Jetup takes him down, no problem. Stewie in there, no problem as well. And uh, Leslie kind of got off to a little bit of a rough start there and uh, opted to play the fort as opposed to the other levels there. We, yeah, we, yeah, we did see, again, Super Tanks on another contestant's screen. We got 5-2 now on Macobra. Yeah, but he took the top route instead of taking the plunge of shame. So, we went up and called a day. And, oh! Well, rarity to see here. Let's just take the top route of 5-4. Yeah, that, it's a very good idea to take the top route of 5-4 uh, because you, if, you're, if, you're, if you're good enough, you can just fly right to the pipe and not have to deal with those spinning logs. Well, it looks like Macobra is going back to the matching game. He gets himself a mushroom, a hammer suit, and uh, nothing more than that. Now Stewie now into that same 7-3, as is Jetab. Back to the cards for Leslie. Nope, 20 and 10, that's not a match. Oh, there's the 10 there for Leslie. Look for the Fire Flower. That's another match. Ooh, Ooh there's the that? 20. That's Ooh. a one-up. Good to know. And right now, while we're doing that and checking out the 10, Macobra's at Needlefort. So the 10 was a star. Well, you can't complain. Stars are often useful. Cobra at the spike for it here. Jet have taken the top route, as is Stewie. Those two are neck and neck right now, and boom, boom, down for Macobra at the spike fort world two. It uh, looks like Macobra and looks like Macobra's got a, a decent enough lead, but again, no leaf, no lead or leaf is safe, and it's a lock. <laughs> All right, so uh, Leslie taking care of Morton. We'll move on to world five. Ooh, this could be a bit perilous. So, double sledges. And that bottom one does not want to jump. <laughs> that is very unusual. There's the jump. Now, Macobra can go for the kill. There it is. Now it's free. And a hammer for his problems. Alright, again, I haven't seen if hammers can break locks yet, but uh, we'll find out if we see another uh, hammer. So, Paradox Pipe, well, that's a shortcut there for Macobra, just has to take care of this level. And it's one of our beta stages, the Iceberg, the 6-2 beta. And right now, we see Mermaid Peach in the frog suit. She looks almost like Ariel with that uh, mermaid suit. Under the sea, under the <laughs> sea. Hey, Macobra gets true ending in that 6-2 uh, beta, well done. Back to the cards for Jetab. Yeah, apparently we got our Little Mermaid reference as well. So, on to World 5 with, with her being the mermaid. And, ooh, the second airship. At the World 2 airship, we're taking on Roy Koopa. Come on, keep that mermaid suit to the end of this level. See if we can get the uh, special message at the end from the king. But Cobra loves to do this, Sinister, with the frog suit. He's been famous for doing this. Ah, oh, it wasn't a one-hitter. I was hoping for the one-hitter, too. Yes! He's got it! Roy wasn't our boy today, so that is now three worlds down for Macobra, and he is on a roll while beta level's being done by Stewie, Macab, uh, Macab, uh, Macab, uh, my apologies, English I speak it. Um, he's currently at, what, 6-3? I do believe that is 6-3. 
not 6-4. I always get those two mixed up. But tonight I dine on frog soup. Care to join me? I'd rather turtle soup. But hey, we do not have Shredder here. And moving on to, ooh, the maze. Yep, the pipe maze. We did get a tanuki suit from Mario. The rest will get it from uh, Princess Toadstool. Stewie now on that airship, and just the two hitter was Roy. Uh oh, look at on Jet Up side, we got seven five. The worst level in the entire game. <laughs> and we didn't see this on Macobra's side, so this appears to be a routing advantage that uh, Macobra was able to take. Now it looks like the good news is there is no cheap cheat, no boss bass, no angry sun. It looks like it's the giant enemy set. So if you're gonna have to play seven five, there's plenty of worse enemy sets there, Sinister. Okay, Macobra is gonna go and get, grab the item here in the basic fort. That's a hammer suit. Oh, look like a frog suit. And here's the thing though, that does not break a bridge or a lock. But there is a second. But there is a second fort. And that is the, oh, the Air Force. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go and fly the unfriendly skies of Bowser. Yeah, whenever you see World 1, that means it is tied to a lock or a bridge that is not essential to beating that level. Yeah, I kind of, I, I figured that out about 30 minutes before showtime because I had that, that thing happen to me here. But again, it looks like... Ooh, it looks like J Jeteb is actually trying to do that clip. Got it. Very nicely done there. Also, um, yeah, World 1, as far as I'm concerned, even though logic dictates it could possibly show up, as far as I'm concerned, World 8 can never have the World 1 for it. Hmm, that's good to know. But it looks like Jeteb, it, Jeteb and Leslie are both at the beta level. And, oh! We have, we have a boss bass, and let's see if he's going to get his uh, meal on 100 coins. We got Macobra. Let's see if he's going to go after the item, and uh, I don't know if he had tried to go for it, but he ended up missing the platform anyway, so there is an item there. We like to call this level Jackpot 3-7 here. There is a um, coin heaven where at the end you get a free item, but again, I don't know if Macobra just flat out missed it or if just opted not to go for it, but didn't check the platform. We have the World 5 airship now. Um, well, we have the, the World 4 airship, actually. Wrong 4. Right, 4. For some reason, I thought 5 because I saw an early flame jet. And let's see. Let's see if he's... Looks like it's not a heavy metal, but it looks like we're going to have quite the symphony today. Oh, we're looking like we got an opera. Oh, we got a grand opera. That's a 5-hitter. Yeah. That's the full concert right there, Sinister. The five hit Ludwig von Koopa, Leslie taking care of Roy, moving on to the fourth world. And Jeteb, I'll tell you what, Jeteb, a very, um, or no, he's way back. He's, Leslie and Jeteb are now neck and neck. Yeah, they're both currently fighting for third. Stewie's currently behind by at least half a world from Macobra. Macobra is moving on fire. So we're going to head up to, we are through, but we haven't seen the, um, the worst of it yet. The maze is done, but we still have ice. <laughs> Opting to use the music box to Stewie, and again, we do get an item from Bowser, unlike the vanilla game, but you have to check the inventory to find out what that is, and we have a linear start to this uh, World 4. And we got a coin ship, but here's the thing. Almost every race I have seen up to this point, and now to this point, we've always had to build a bridge at, uh, at, giant, at the giant big island, so that bridge needs to be built. <laughs> Yep, it is always mandatory in World 4 to build that bridge, so uh, it's all about picking that right 4, and of course, if there's only one 4, then obviously it needs to be played. Macobra getting through 6-7, no problem at all, we'll move on to the next level. Meanwhile, Stewie Carmen will be moving on to World 5 also, which will end up being... Uh... Here we go, World 4. As the coin ship moves away from a cobra, that auto scroller, of course, will be turned off. And here is four six. Yeah, lo looks like we have a little bit of a. Oh, he, uh, Macobra might want to. Oh, he's playing dangerously. He's playing with fire, all types of it. Yeah, opting not to go through the door to check to see if maybe there's a better enemy set on the other side. I guess he's very comfortable with having to deal with it. But watch out. Okay, it does get past a couple more fire snakes, and it is going to be home free there from a cobra. Leslie getting through the air force, not a problem at all. Jed up taking down 
boom, boom, awesome. We see Stewie now at 6-7. Looks good. And we got a coin ship. So, if you think you can get a free life before you go and, go and take care of the dual boomerang bros, go for it. Right now, Macobra is got Macobra gets a mushroom for his problems, but it's still anybody's match. Stewie is in he is hot in pursuit, but let's and see. Jetab clears the board, and oh no, Leslie is swallowed up by Boss Bass. That's a meal. Boss Bass is gonna try to go for two plates. <laughs> That's a nasty screen that Makobra has. Good thing he used that star, ends up getting a music box. Actually, he had a mushroom, so he, he knocked out the first one and lucked out on the second. Ooh, and Jetab goes right into the hole, and he'll have to try that level again. Another Jugens Cloud. And, oh, Leslie is going up to Coin Heaven. He does not want any part of Boss Bass. He, is already, he said, enough is enough. And it's time for a change. <laughs> yep. Meanwhile, Macobra and Stewie both on the escalator fort of 6F1. And let's see what item he gets. A P-Wing. We haven't seen any of those yet. Could come in handy. It uh, looks like we're at 6-1 for Macobra. And Jatab took a uh, dip into the Abyss for the second time. So, try again. Yeah, Jetab's struggling with 3-7 here, falling into the hole a couple of times here, maybe getting intimidated by Boss Bass, but, oh, that was a close call there. That could have been disastrous. Oh, a star, that should help Jetab get through the rest of this level. 6-F1 done by Macobra. That builds the bridge. Stewie, the first one, however, here's the World 5 airship. World 5 airship and Stewie took the Stewie took a slight lead on 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 the back of a maybe a slight mistake but this is gonna be interesting all right we've got Iggy Koopa there's two hits but like the point three Dexter it three it is yeah point Dexter is just a regular point Dexter today Jetta played the piranha stage there with all the munchers and whatnot. I ended up getting a star as the uh, we've got simultaneous kills of Koopalings on Leslie McCobra and Stewie's side, but uh, Jetta not that far back from getting his own. It looks like it's pretty good. The fight for first, the, uh, for fight for first, and the fight for third. So right now it's still anybody's game, but oh, the rare opportunity to see a star fight on the concert. Also, uh, get your commands out in chat, Leslie, with the Tanuki suit finish there, as we have 4F1 on Stewie's side as we're uh, commencing World 6. Usually when you see 4F1, 4F2 is somewhere around. Ooh, nailed by a swamp, and then double teamed by a ghost. The boo says, hi, how you doing? I saw you were small. Let me come and greet you. And that is going to give Macobra the lead back. And there's a star, so a chance for a bro here from Macobra. And get your bros in, chat. Good bro and an upside down key, because it's Princess Peach. We don't have reverse orbs, we have reverse keys. Right. Nope. Oh, right on time. We are going to see a, a, a natural bro from Stewie Cartman, though. And there it is, 4F2, the Donut Fort, right on cue as I talk about it. Yep, and right now, Macobra is putting on a clinic in this one. He makes it to the, to the boom boom. Yeah, that, those were some good flying skills there uh, to get to that boom boom fight. Down it goes. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Stewie did not take that fort. He actually decided to keep going. He's if taking that... a chance. He's banking on the fact that that fort is not required to complete. Well, if that fort is required, oh boy, he's going to be well behind. I yeah, will lose some time, but meanwhile, it looks like a hammer break of the boulder there for Macobra to take this pipe and it takes him past that fort so it looks like he too is skipping that third fort and we have a chance for a clip here this is a seven six this might be a little bit a little bit more arduous than you think because i think princess peach's sprite is slightly taller for the clip and macobra already uh feeling the effects as leslie takes a lava bath in six f1 
And it looks like those hot foots have a mind of their own, not obeying the oh, laws. Oh, all right. So 6F3 is the fourth that Macobra ended up skipping. And F uh, fort and the second fort was skipped by Stewie. So one of them is the right answer. Maybe neither of them. And Macobra has just given up on it. It's going to either take the intent. Oh, what a nasty enemy. Said. Yeah, this looks like an intentional 100 coin. Fine. Now, he does have a P wing, I, I think. No, he does not. He's not one of the contestants that has a P wing. Is he going to juke him this? Oh, he's going to try it again. That might have been an accidental go into the door there, Sinister. Well, Stewie said, no, I am not going with that. I am going to go. Oh, we got a clip and we got a fly. So this is getting interesting. <laughs> yeah, right now, you know, Stewie has retaken the lead pending the lock situation. And I think he might have made a good decision. Let's look at Macobra's side here. Oh, Macobra! Oh, so that fort, it was a mistake. So the big break is Stewie. He picked the right fort to skip, and Macobra picked the wrong one. Oh, yeah, I hate to see it. Hey, how you doing? You got the wrong fort. We're going to block your entrance. You're now going to have to come to the mandatory fort. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right, so 8-2 uh, Stewie just completed right there, and... Macobra, yeah, you're going to have to dance with all these hotfoots there. Jet him now into uh, 6F1. And we have the World 7 airship. Looking a little bit precarious to see how um, the shrimp is going to do things. But other than that, though, Macobra seeded the lead on a bad decision. So That is part of Randomizer Sinister. You know, you take that one decision. You have both of them deciding to skip a fort. Stewie ended up skipping the right one, and that's the reason why he's got the lead right now. But anything is still possible because we still have World 1 to go, and of course, the great equalizer in World 8. Ooh, and Macobra said, no, I am not dealing with this. I got plenty of clouds. I'm going to skip. And the shrimp grew up. The shrimp really grew up. He's tough enough. He's like, hey, big brother, how you doing? I got some muscles this time. Yeah, he's what I like to call the jumbo shrimp, the maximum number of HP. So, I mean, Stewie will be moving on to world one. Macobra with some nice uh, P-Speed strats isn't going to be that far behind. But he's going to realize that this is not a free Lemmy fight. There's the third hit. And the fourth. Now he realizes Jumbo Shrimp. Down he goes, though. Great fight there for uh, a Cobra. So, again, these two are still close. Still relatively close. And looks like Jetab uh, is going on to World 6. So he must have... Oh! Hold that thought. We have found the Piranhas. Hello? to the worst fort in the game. 7F2, <laughs> and did not pair up with Fort Knox this time. And very unusual. The World 4 forts paired up, but not the World 7 ones, because in World 3, that uh, 7F1, that was the only fort in that level. Yeah, which means that there was a couple a couple of the levels had uh, extra forts, and ooh, welcome to the Navy, where you can sail the seven seas. Right, you are there, Sinister, and uh, that means we've seen all of the military fort stages. Of course, there's a fourth one, the army or tanks, but that one is not treated as a fort. It's treated as a normal level where you get a power-up at the end by defeating one of the hammer bros. Looking good, and looks like, uh-oh, um, looks like Stewie got the right door, and once again, Macobra is gonna have to pay the price. He's gonna have to go to that. He's gonna have to go through the piranhas. Yes, indeed. So that ended up being a required fort. Um, now Stewie is in level three, two. Nice use of the tail there to get through all of that carnage and can move on to the next level. Okay, so this is going to get a little bit interesting here, because we still got the Green Equalizer, but right now, whatever that he, he does not have many power-ups in stock, and oh, it's only one two, never mind, that this is free. It just has to deal with the angry sun towards the end of the level, if he went down the pipe he could despawn it, but I don't think he's going to do that, and, yeah, he'll, and that star is definitely going to help him finish this level. Uses yeah, to take down the angry sun. Yeah, the sun's going to be pretty much a joke. And Zero Wing 211 said it's going to be a single bridge for the four, for Bowser's Keep. I'm going to say dual bridges. 
All right, we'll see if you end up being right. I'm not going to predict just yet. A little bit early, but uh, I'll, I will make my prediction as well. Hey, you've seen me in other places. I, I, I'm i not always wrong. I, I have the, a thing for this. And, oh, McCobra just retakes the lead with Larry only being a two-hitter. Yeah, using those Jugum Clouds to skip the rest of those levels there where Stewie saved them. That might have been, you know, resource management there for McCobra to help him take that lead back. And once again, the lead has swapped. So right now, we're going into almost 30 minutes, and we're about to hit the Keep of Bowser. So again, chat, let's get, let's get them, uh, let's get them bridge counts and locks. Yeah, I'm going to go with one bridge as well. All right, here All we right. go, World 8. Well, it's not four, because there's your lock. Ooh, already lost. But Sharjah is going for two. That's and... intentional right there, Macobro. That 100 coin fine in the 7-9. Does want, doesn't want any part of that stage, at least now. But it could be required if we have to get through the rest of that level. He's going to check the other pipe first. Yeah, and oh, Bo and Boss Bass has finally gotten himself quite the meal. He decided, okay, you want to give me free meals, we'll take him. But, uh oh. Okay, so he's going to go and use that, and 1-4. Yeah, nothing like a free meal there for Boss Bass when these runners see a level that they don't want to play. Okay, so right now, choices are going to need to be had. And on the other side, 2-5 coming in from Stewie. So this could be one of the two will be the correct answer, or if none of them is the correct answer. We'll see. Certainly, yeah. The uh, p path of divergence here for both of our runners, Stewie and uh, here was Jetup trying to get the clip here in 7-6. Nails it. Ooh, got a lock, though. So it's not two, it's not two bridges because we got two locks. Yep, it so, still could be it still could be ones, it still could be two, it can't be three, it is two. Well played, Sinister. Your first randomizer, and you nailed the prediction. Well done. Once again, my intuition is nice, and it looks like the it looks like both of those fourths are mandatory. And yes. welcome to Six Fort. Looks like Six Fort. Door six fort or door three fort if you're really good at doing the glitch. It's the three F one fort. I wonder if they paired up with three F two. You know, we haven't seen that one yet. And it does like to show up and roll it. Ooh, the underwater fort. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. And oh Leslie taking a bath in the lava. And Yeah, Stewie has completed three F one first. And uh, Macobra right there, and here's World 8 Ford in its natural habitat. Ah, the gatekeeper. <laughs> so it, it does tend to be a gatekeeper a lot in the randomizer, so I wouldn't be surprised if this built the bridge too. Yeah, this, when you see this in, its, in the vanilla world, usually it's a gatekeeper, so... See if Stewie can pull off the one cycle here, and he does. Made it just in the nick of time, and looks like McCobra is following suit. Uh, looks like he overjumped. I don't think he's gonna get. Yeah, he, he knows he's not gonna get the one cycle. So he, I'm a little surprised he slowed down because now he has to take the long path to get the back back to that piece. Which instead of plowing right through the coins, he's looking for. Uh, he was looking for a fire flower. Didn't get it. Eh. Looks right. like he's about to, it's going to be a check. No! Only one of the bridges. So we still have two forts left in play, and one of them is going to build that bridge. But first, going to have to get through 5-1. That's simple, a simple win. And the enemy set doesn't look to be terribly bad, so, so, so we should have little problem. <laughs> nice bounce from that pile driver there by Stewie, and I don't think he meant to do that, but we are treated to some fireworks sinister. Five of them to be exact. Lovely stars. So right now, we're going to have a little bit of a thing here. One of these forts got to be it, and ooh, welcome to Alaska. Yeah, and, and ooh! Oh, and I see what's going on here. There's a lock that's guarding the path. So Stewie's in 6F to the ice fort here, and he's hoping that this is the one that is going to build that last bridge. So if we don't see the lock explode, I think Stewie 
is going to be on the right track, I think. We'll see. Now, here's the thing. If it is breaking the lock, and... Oh! Okay, so, there, it's, so let's see. Either way, it's going to be the right way. Now, that lock did not break. I think, I think he's got it. I think. Yes! That's a bridge. So we're never going to know what that uh, final uh, Ford is. I still think it's 3F2. But in any event, it is going to be Stewie the first to Bowser's Castle, and he's going to use his fire suit. Okay, now here's the, here's the interesting thing, though. He cannot afford to get beat down, because if he fails in this in this dive into Bowser's, we know McCobra is sitting on two Hammer Brothers suits. Not one, but two Hammer Brothers suits. And he's going to look for the quick kill. Doesn't get the clip, though, on the first try. Remember, as the fire suit, he needs to land 35 fireballs. And if he can't get this clip, he does get the clip. So it's still advantage Stewie, but it's not over until that 35th fireball is landed. And here is Hammer Peach. And she's going to... Oh, he's trying for the clips. He's trying to get them all. All right, here's Bowser. 35 fireballs to the face. So... And down he goes! That is going to be GG, Sinister. Stewie Cartman is going to be your winner of our four featured runners. Close race between him and Macobra. My goodness. Indeed. And we got an official time. As soon as he goes through the door, we have an official time of 34.20. Get your GGs in chat. Macobra's going to get that clip as well. And he's going to finish less than a minute behind Stewie Cartman here. Exciting race. Hi, Bowser, and bye, Bowser. You have been hammered. So we got two different types of kills. We got a hammer kill and a fire kill today. Let's see if we can get a traditional kill. Well, we still have two runners left. There's definitely that possibility if they can't get the clip and they have to go through one of those doors and have to deal with the riffraff of those fireballs and, you know, the laser statue. So, yeah, there's a chance, I'd say. And we got an official race time of 34.57 for McCobra. Let's see if we can get some interviews. Yeah, very, very close. About a half minute separating the two. If this would have been a tournament race, this would have been quite the exciting one because those two went back and forth the entire night. Indeed, and we have third place off camera by Donald Duck for 36.01. Donald Duck. I have no idea who Donald Duck is. Paradox? <laughs> I have no idea who that is. I wonder if they're new. If, if they're new, that's a pretty good time. Yes, he is. Donald Duck is... Oh, wait, hold on. Never mind. Donald Duck decided to put up a forfeit instead. I did that back. Oh, oh. <laughs> Darn. Well, oh, well. Any event, we've got uh, Leslie taking care of the World 8 Fort. Oh, the anchor ended up being a Jugum Cloud tonight. Interesting. And here's Leslie now with 3F1. Jetep here in 1 2 sees the star, gonna gladly pick it up. The Angry Sun escapes. There was another star there, but there goes the Angry Sun, and no problem there. Moving on. Off camera, we have Vix Rider with an official time of 37.02, and let's see what we got in today. Ah, our second place player. Hello, Macobra. Your journey has ended. Nice showcase of Princess Peach. I hold. I'll tell you what, very close race, Macobra. You and Stewie kept going back and forth the entire race, but in the end, it's Stewie taking it home. We do have Stewie here in the commentator's booth with us. GG, both of you, very you close race. You yeah, you two seesawed many times in that race. It was a thriller. Definitely was worth the race time. Um, a lot of things I saw was actually pretty good. Like, I think the only thing that was a major thing was a lot of route divergence and a lot of gambles. Stewie, you just happen to be the one to get lucky tonight. Usually I have really garbage luck, so someone was on my side tonight. All right, so yeah, the, 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 the big one was back to World 6, uh, three forts. You decided to skip 4F2. That was the fort that you did not play, Stewie. 
and you played 6F3, the carpet fort. Yep. But Cobra played 4F2 and skipped 6F3, and uh, that was that was, was that was that what decided it? I think it was. But you could point to a number number of things because you know it, it was a very close race. Like I said, but Cobra even took the lead back going into World Eight because I believe he had some Jugum clouds that he used that he still had in his fodder there to take the lead back from you. But uh, yeah, back and was forth it, you two went. Was it the Ford routing that decided World Eight? Yes, it was because you went to um, you t you kind of sped a little bit faster on um going he went to he went to the right side in the dark you went left and okay. you got to the fort you got to the forts before macobra right because i saw <laughs> the cause i saw the fake tank was seven nine so i'm like okay i don't i don't need this one yeah we're never going to know what that uh fourth fort was as we see that leslie uh has built his bridge so he's on his way but jedub is playing seven nine and does take care of it so nicely played yeah and looks like we have leslie actually in bowser's castle with a hammer trying to get the everyman clip he gets the everyman clip Did we ever see five nine or atlantis no no, and no. Huh. we did see seven five though i uh jed i, I, I don't think, think we saw it i don't think jed. i did on Jedev's screen, we saw it. Okay. Yeah, Jet Jet had Jet had an unfortunate routing, and yep, that last one was indeed the underwater for it. Oh. <laughs> well, what do you know? <laughs> three F two in its normal home. So uh, both three F two and three F one paired up, and look at this. Leslie got the clip, so he'll be able to get the hammer bro suit on Bowser. So hi Bowser. Yeah, bye Bowser. Bye Bowser. Nice job. Um, off camera, off camera, we have Dust uh, Dust Minion finishing at thirty eight forty six. I do apologize. You continue, uh, please. Uh, Makoba, did you fight both forts in World One? I did. Yes. Can you hear me? What, what was What was the other one? Because I just played seven of two. It was Navy. Huh. Well, as soon as I saw seven of two, I'm like, this has to be it, because it's the more difficult one. Yeah, it usually is, isn't it? <laughs> Ah, so that's how uh, Jetup got to 3F2, because remember, he played 7-9, took the other path, but yep, that ended up being the wrong path. Ooh, hate to see it. And we have an official time for Leslie Pro 39-57. We, we still have one, um, one on camera and one off camera. <laughs> uh, um, did you play 7-6, Stewie? Yes. I entered it small, died, then used my last P-Wing on it. Oh, okay, yeah, I was trying to clip it for a while with, with the princess, and I was like, I'll, I'll just die and see if I have a P-Wing, and it turns out I did not, so I'd <laughs> equip a mushroom and try it again. Fortunately, yeah, I got a second P try after that. P-Wings yeah. were scarce. Now, Macover, let me ask you a that question. Movement. On 3-7, it looked horrible. like you were flying towards the coin heaven, but I, I'm not sure if you either missed it or if you weren't intending to. Were you trying to go to Coin Heaven in three seven? Yeah, I was. Um, you, you can make that jump from from that lower platform there, but I just didn't make uh, it. So I just, I just uh, went well, onward. <laughs> Macabre, if you would have landed that, you know it was waiting for you at the end of that Coin Heaven. A P wing. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. Of course. <laughs> hey Leslie, Man. welcome, welcome, to, welcome to the chat. Um, good race tonight. Made it third among those in the stream, fifth overall. So hi, old. Hey, doing good, GG's Macobra. I had some rather sloppy movement that I was not happy with, and some of the deaths I took were a result of that. But in terms of overworld decision making, seems about right. Got aggressive with clouds in the last two worlds because I had four going into world. Oh, yeah, yeah. There this was no, I didn't know about. No shortage like, of clouds, and as if that weren't enough. Anchors were also clouds. Yeah, I found that. Oh my gosh, wow. Is there any shortage was... of those? Oh yeah, you wanted the Jugans, you got it. And oh, Jet is going to have to, got the bad news. He's going to have to find that he has to go to Alaska to get to that second bridge. Correct. Must play the ice fort. And uh, well, CZ's going to have to play this panel again. That's 5-1. 
Yeah, we didn't get to see Atlantis. We didn't get to see Five Nine. We did not get to. See, we didn't get to see some of the nastier ones. We didn't even get to see the uh, Who? the beta of the uh, World Five. There were there, there weren't oh, many betas at all. We had the six F two beta, and was that it? That was it. <laughs> Yep, Who that was the one and only for you. today. I mean, we got to see 7F2. That was nasty enough. Right, I, I meant 6 2. I said 6F2. The 6 2 beta, the iceberg, my war. Yeah, that was the only beta stage, at least, that we ran into. There could have been others that we didn't run into, but that was the only one we ran into. Yeah, the only one I've seen. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who rolled who the seed today. This was interesting. <laughs> Yeah, hey, it was fun. Whoever hey, did, I want to say thank you. Yeah, I'd say for once I rolled a seed that didn't wasn't totally bad. I mean, it might have been bad if there were clouds or if some of the routing was worse in like World Three. So many things that could have made it worse, but it was actually a good seed. Just <laughs> didn't play it all that great. But hey, that happens. That's rando. It is, it is, it is what it is, and we didn't get to see a whole lot of boss bass either. Usually, with with these bad boys, boss bass is out looking for meals and extra plates for the hundred coin uh, fee. Well, they did get their fill at least a f couple of times on uh, seven nine with those intentional hundred coin fines. Nothing intentional on my end. I I saw those two forts there, and I'm like, eh, I better just play this. And turned out to be the right move, so I, I have to say, Leslie, you probably had the best World 8 of the four. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta take what's in front of you, knowing that the other option could be something worse. I mean, for all I know, that other option was either a Zonk or a Whammy, and I was like, oh, let's, uh, let's just take what's in front of us. Now, Jedim, now we're gonna finally see what's behind the door. I opted not to try for the club. Well, there's one laser, but here come those nasty fireball patterns. Let's see what he ends up getting. So Ooh. far, so good, but what do we have at the end? Oh, he could have avoided... There was a laser at the end, too. Wow. That ending was a little bit nasty. And we're going to get... A, we're going to get all three kills of Bowser via Flame, via Hammer, via Abyss. And, of course, uh, the reason why Jetab is ducking is because... Well, now he's going to let it go because... The only part of his hitbox is his head, so as long as you stand put, just got to make sure you stay away from the line of fire there, and now Jetav is going to have to move away because... Ooh, I don't love any of hitboxes. Yep. Oh, yeah, because the hitboxes. I'm waiting for the day that Fred actually makes Bowser's entire body a hitbox. Oh, no! Oh! Bowser gets one oh, for the day! <laughs> wow! Did he not see that coming. Pattern. Throwing the fireball right as he jumps there. Yeah, I hate to see it. Ooh, you really hate to see it. From downtown, boom shaka laka. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's, yeah it's like the arcade version where Tim Kitzrow goes, At the buzzer, it's good! Indeed. Yeah, I gotta ask. This one's more for Macobra and Stewie. That is a pattern we don't often see, right? I have actually... I still hate this. I lost a 1047 and any percent no wrong orb to getting the impossible pattern. Oh, well, if it makes you feel any better, um, about a week about a week ago, I had a nasty pattern that I could not negotiate through. So yeah, yeah, the the pattern I got, he jumps and shoots a fireball at the perfect time and at the perfect angle to where there's nothing you can do oh you hate to see it all right jedim should be fine now as long as he keeps bobbing and weaving right to left so should be fine now yeah as long as he as long as he doesn't go and do what he did last time and try to lead bowser into the far side this should be an open and shut case yeah because that's what led to the impossible pattern striking So long and that, there, Bowser. And that right. pattern is why we run Hammer Suit. Get your GGs out for Jetab. We'll finish up this run. Indeed. So, currently right now, we have the following placements today. Stewie taking, taking the gold medal. Macabre with silver. Vix Rider for bronze. 
Dust taking fourth, Leslie taking fifth, Jetab making it sixth place with an official time of 47.25. Zuza fan is still running, so he may get seventh, he may be tied for seventh. And Donald Duck going with the DNF. So give your GGs and give your love to all the all the races today. They put on quite the show. So, let's see if we can get uh, Jetab in here before we uh, begin the wrap-up. So, did we ever find out whether hammers broke locks or not? They did not. Ah, uh, okay. I, I never tried I, it. Don't, I don't hammer. I, I think I tried the one in World 7. Oh, oh yeah. That's true, too. Uh, so that's what happened. Hammers didn't break locks. So, uh, Macobra, you doing? You went and broke a rock. Stewie tried to break a lock, and that didn't work. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the only hammer I found, I, I found one hammer that I used it in the, on the World Six Boulder. So, so yeah. Oh, I used my clouds in World Six and gambled. Clouds at the end of six and seven for me. I tried the lock in World Two to just get that out of the way, and it's like, nope. I'm gonna have to watch this race and see where our, our routes uh, diverge. Yeah, but good races always. Um, that was that was fun. Uh, try, this is the first time I've done I've done the uh, princess uh, hack in a weekly, so that was that was fun. That was a fun treat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and just to let you know, Macobra, um, the ex the changing of colors as well does work on Princess Peach. I did check it out uh, prior to tonight's uh, footage. Oh, by the way, Macobra, once again, uh, nice frog kill. By the way, <laughs> using Princess. <laughs> oh yeah, on on the coupling, <laughs> that was that was good. That was sweet. Yep, you took take care of Roy. We got treated to the frog soup. <laughs> I like I like her uh, mermaid design. She, she does look like Ariel. I must say. Yeah, same. It, I think it's I think it's the best change, for sure. Yeah, I def I def definitely had the under the sea reference onto that one. <laughs> so right now, let's see if we can get. Um, uh, I got yeah. that one. Unfortunately for us, Jetab has declined an interview. So with that, anything else, guys? Looks like silence from the booth. I think it's about time that we get this shut down. So, from everybody here, thank you all for coming to the weekly race. We well, do don't forget before uh, before we say good night. I do want to point out that tomorrow night we haven't decided what speed gaming channel it's going to be on, but tomorrow night is going to be our inaugural Sunday Super Mario Brothers Three randomizer weekly races and that's going to be at 7 p.m eastern sinister and i are going to be back in the commentators booth calling that one. Oh, indeed a double header so if you didn't if you didn't get enough tonight yeah gets another helping of it tomorrow night so everybody want to say goodbye before we give it the shutdown um ggs everyone ggs just to say thanks to speed gaming as always for hosting thank you thank you all both for uh awesome commentary as always and uh yeah looking forward to tomorrow's weekly absolutely ggs thanks for having us thanks for calling thanks for one heck of a run and if uh, things cooperate which so far they have i just might be around tomorrow night as well well assuming i don't get distracted by football games <laughs> just saying <laughs> you know what i'm talking about laws Oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, tomorrow with the uh, AFC and NFC championship games, respectively. So, yeah, the, it, it's going to be a very interesting uh, night, to say the least. But, of course, if when you're done with your football, please come on and join us in Speed Gaming for another Super Mario Bros. 3 randomizer. What time is it tomorrow? 7. 7 p.m. Eastern. Oh, I better hope I'm not distracted by the games, too. Maybe I'll just put them on in the background and listen. <laughs> uh, my team didn't make the playoffs, so it's all right. Oh, Wild card win. weekend. The Buffalo Bills no absolutely and totally gave us the business. Then they lost to the Chiefs, who now I'm predicting going to be Bengals in the Super Bowl. Just well, 
I'll tell you what, I hope you're right. I'd love to, I'd love to see the underdog pull it off. We'll see what happens tomorrow night. So far, like every that. pick I've made has been wrong, so... I'm not making any guesses. Yeah, uh, my, my bracket's completely destroyed anyway, so yeah. Uh, my bracket got absolutely annihilated. Um, the divisional game, the uh, divisional, so mm, no thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and say goodnight, everybody here on Speed Gaming 2. For all four of our runners, Leslie Pro 04, McCobra 52, Stewie Carmen, and Jetap, please make sure you give all four of them a follow. And for my commentator partner, Sinister, I'm LZ Cards Fan 23. We will see you again tomorrow night for another exciting Super Mario Brothers 3 Randomizer Showcase. Good night, everybody. And good fight.